In this video, we're going to cover some of the new updates that came out as part of Power BI's August 2023 feature updates, including things like the changes that they've made to the on-object interaction, some changes to the order by function, as well as this new updates that lets you set your launch contents in Power BI Mobile. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's start with this new update, which is the new layout switcher. This basically gives you the ability to switch between the web or mobile layout versions when you're developing your reports within the Power BI desktop. You will find this new option on the bottom left-hand side of your Power BI desktop. And if you didn't know already, the mobile layout is a feature that was released a few months ago. And it's basically a feature that lets you modify and change the layout of your reports to fit a smaller screen without really affecting the layout of it when you're viewing it on a web page. If I'm being completely honest with you, I don't actually understand the reason or what benefits this switcher gives because you are already able to do that by using the mobile layout button from the ribbon. But anyway, it's there if you want to use it. There are new options for scaling your bubbles within your scatter charts or maps within Power BI. You'll find this new option under the range scaling within the formatting panel if you're using one of those visuals. So this scale setting now has different options for you to choose from. The auto is the option by default, and it basically gives Power BI the ability to choose which one is correct to use based on the data that you have within your model. Data range limits your maximum and minimum uh, based on your data in within your model. And then the magnitude, well, magnitude follows the proportions of your data. Now, it's a little bit confusing. So I had to read the documentation and it seemed that the kind of main difference is that if you have negative values, it changes those into a positive values and then scales everything proportionally. So you can visualize them within these bubbles. On object interactions have also had a bit of an update this month. So the first thing is the ability for you to resize these on object menus horizontally, which is pretty useful if you have, let's say, long label names that gets uh, truncated when it's too small. The positioning of these on object menus have also been improved slightly. So before, if your visual was too close to the borders of the canvas, it creates a kind of a shortened view of the on object menu, which you need to scroll. Whereas now it kind of uses the full size of the canvas so that you can see the whole of the menu instead. They've now also added this new button, the end format modes, uh, which shows up if you have on object interaction enabled while you're in focus mode. So if you didn't know already, focus mode is one of those buttons that you get on the top right hand corner of your visuals. And it lets you sort of focus that visual and blow it up on your page and then hiding the rest of your visuals within your page. Now, if and when you have the focus mode enabled as well as the on object interaction, you might be able to guess if it's on if you have and you can see those handlebars. However, that's not so obvious. So what they've done is they've added this button instead to toggle and let you toggle in or out of on object interaction without going out of focus mode. The order by function now have some optional helper functions that you can use when you're dealing with blank values within your data. You have the blanks defaults and blanks first, which sorts and ensures that any blank value that you have will be at the very beginning of your sort. And then you have blanks last, which is doing the vice versa. So it's putting those blank values at the end. So the order by function, if you didn't know already is one of the sort of functions that you can use alongside the window function, which I did cover in a separate video. So if you want to know more about how to use the window function and the order function, I'll leave a link somewhere in this video for it. Lastly, on the Power BI mobile app side, you can now choose the startup content on the Power BI mobile app. Setting a startup content essentially makes sure that when you open the mobile app for Power BI, it will open that report automatically for you. 
So you can do this directly on the mobile app itself. If you click more options, you will have the ability to set your launch content, which will be denoted by a little marker next to the report. So this is typically handy if your users frequently just use one report or if they're only just using one report instead of having to look for that specific report, it just simply opens that for them when they open the app, making this experience seamless and a lot easier for users. Individual users can set this up manually within their Power BI mobile app or administrators can do it as well using some mobile device management tools. Admins can set it up for the organization as well using you know some mobile device management tools to sort of simplify that experience for them. And that's really it for this video. So as usual, I didn't cover everything that was in this month's updates, only the ones that I'm pretty interested in. So if you want to read more about everything that came out in this month, I'll leave a link to the documentation in the description box below. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.